uh hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to talk about some more examples on stack so consider that you have given an expression something like this where you have to validate that expression is valid or not like uh, this particular expression is valid because it has equal number of openings of this bracket or equal number of closing similarly if i just talk about this this is also valid but when you start putting this here or this here without closing then it will become a invalid expression right so that we can try to test it with the stack so first of all algorithm is whatever is uh, we are tra first we have to traverse this string and if we see that there is a opening bracket we will just push it and whenever there is a closing bracket coming then we will pop the stack and whatever the character we are getting from the closing brackets we will compare if both both are not equals that means the expression is not valid right so we can write a simple function or anonymous function simply like uh, const is balanced it will be a function which will take string as argument or input as a argument and we will just iterate on to this input okay so we have brackets brackets which are allowed is all these square brackets we have opening closing and let's see these are also okay now we have a stack stack we are implementing through simple array not with the simple class or what okay now we'll just run a for loop let a uh, bracket of input like we are running a for of loop onto an array you can do a simple for loop also so here we'll get a bracket index bracket index means whatever the character so consider that your input is something like this it's automatically adding these consider your input like this okay this is a string input now we are just iterating on to this and we are passing that into this function if i say this okay so i will get the bracket index is this representing opening or closing you can see uh, index 0 index 1 2 index 3 so index 0 0 1 2 3 4 these even index are representing opening and odd index are representing closing right so here i will see uh, brackets dot index of i mean is it uh, opening index or a closing index how will come to know by just checking the index now if we just say bracket index if this is divisible by two and we are getting reminder as zero that means it is the index is even right that means it is a opening bracket so what we will do is let's do a stack dot push and uh, bracket index we are just inserting index not the value bracket index plus one if it is not divisible by two then what we will do is first we will just check else stack dot pop we will just do a pop from the stack and then we will just see if this is not equal equal to bracket index and this will return false and we are done here and finally we will just check return stack dot length if this equals equals to zero it means all element has been popped expression is valid now if you see this what we have done in the else part if part is bracket index like if your uh, input element characters are this opening bracket this opening bracket this opening bracket or this that means those are representing opening brackets just push into the stack by just incrementing one index because index starts from zero okay if we, this condition is not matching if you are getting the closing brackets something like this closing bracket closing and this or that okay that means in this particular case you just need to pop the stack okay 
and you will just check the bracket index okay if the bracket index so bracket index here is uh, for these elements will be uh, 1 3 or something like this right so if bracket index not equal equal to whatever you did a pop because we are inserting the bracket index in the stack so you do the pop if both are not equal so if return false otherwise that is fine you did the pop and uh, then you will go to the next iteration next element and then do the same condition for the next character because it's running inside a for loop okay so uh, you can actually call this is balanced and pass your expression and we can simply test this okay so now the same logic this is this has been done with the help of index and we are inserting the index not the actual value so it can be as simple as you do keep doing a push for the opening brackets and you keep doing a pop whenever you encountered a closing bracket and you pop the element and you will see if the popped element is same as the the closing bracket that means expression is valid and finally you will see the stack is empty right so same on the same lines if we just write to try to write this code in just another way because this can be written in many ways first of all so is balanced expression let's change the function name this is our expression okay now what we'll do is here also we have const it can be a const because we are doing a push and uh, here we will particularly see okay these are beginners these are the beginner brackets okay these brackets are okay let's see only three brackets this one square bracket and these similarly there are enders ending bracket is this for this respectively don't so this these two arrays are de deciding factors okay now what we will do is we will just simply run the loop for let i equal to 0 i is less than your input dot length ok now what we will do is we will just check if the input character first input characters so we got beginners dot index of index of input of i if this not equal equal to minus 1 means you got the beginner bracket so what we'll do is you'll just do stack dot push and brackets uh, stack dot push input of i We are just doing a simple push if this is not satisfying that means uh, it, it belongs to the ending brackets okay so here you can do else or else if if it is not pointing to the consider that we are passing only the valid characters okay that means if, if it if this condition is failing that means it is for sure is a closing bracket okay otherwise you can just check it using else if and check the expression enders dot index of input of i if this also not equal equal to minus 1 that means it is pointing to the ending brackets ok then you will just check if stack dot length has already 0 that means expression is invalid stack is already empty before even comparing it with uh, the last element ok return false otherwise what you will do is we will get the index enders dot index of input of i I mean we already have this value we didn't assign it so we got the this value and then we will do just to a stack dot pop we will do a pop and we will see if 
this value equal equals to beginner dot index beginners of index it means whatever you are doing pop right so first you will get to know the index of this closing bracket closing bracket index is this okay if this uh, character is coming we got the index so relevant to this index do we have this we will get the beginner value and we will just do a pop and we'll say okay if my expression if my character is coming something like this and stack is not empty currently then i will find out the index of this okay i got the index of, of opening bracket then what i will do is pop the element and just compare it with this because in the stack we are pushing this element okay we are doing stack dot pop and we are just comparing if whatever the element we removed from the stack is equal to this opening bracket or not if this is true then uh, we are good so stack dot pop equal equal to this we are good otherwise we can just say else return false I mean nothing no condition is needed here so we are doing stack dot pop and we are comparing the relevant opening bracket of that closing so that should be the same expression I mean the character should match because we have inserted this already and now we are inserting this right so we got the appropriate matching of this opening which is at the same index this index so the condition is this index should match if the zeroth index is a square bracket then closing should also be at the zeroth index okay and then finally once you are done with these condition checks you can just check if length of stack because after running your whole loop the length of the stack should be equal equal to zero that means your expression is valid okay simple one uh, so this is how we write code for expression validation